Good morning, afternoon. Well, here's my quick hummus recipe that I promised you first thing this morning. Um, you can make this right now and it'll be on the table within 15 minutes. Um, all I've got, just run you through the ingredients, a can of chickpeas. If you haven't got chickpeas, you can use butter beans or any similar sort of bean. Um, I've got some tahini here. Now, some of you might not have tahini at home. Um, it's basically a sesame paste. They roast the sesame seeds and then they make it into a paste. So it's like a, like a nut butter, like a peanut butter, but, but made with sesame seeds. Um, I've got some roasted garlic, which you might need to do in advance if you want it roasted, but you can add just raw garlic. Um, some cumin, a teaspoonful of cumin. I add a little bit of hot paprika because I like my food a little bit spicy. Um, some coriander to finish off and some salt. Um, that's basically all we need, maybe a drop of water as well and some lemon juice just to, uh, to finish off. So the first thing you do need is a food processor of some description. It doesn't have to be a big posh one. This is quite a cheap one, it's very old, um, but it does the work perfectly fine. A hand blender will do the trick as well. Just lost one trick. In fact, I'm going to take two or three out just to dress the dish at the end. Um, hand blender will do the job, but you might need to add a bit more water right at the beginning to get it mixing. Okay, two tablespoonfuls of tahini. This does make a big difference. If you're used to making it without the tahini, um, if you start adding it, then you'll notice the difference. A pinch of salt, just for the flavour. And then I've got the roasted um, garlic here. So all I did, I didn't roast the whole bulb, I just took two or three little cloves, okay? And then put them in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Try not to forget about them, I often do that. Um, and they end up like little bullets. Um, you can peel the paper off and then you've got this squidgy, lovely squidgy garlicky paste on the inside these are cooled a little bit so they're not as sticky as they can be um, you can add as i said raw garlic that's perfectly fine this just gives a nice sweeter flavor i feel okay so two cloves of garlic teaspoonful of cumin i've got ground cumin not the cumin seeds they can be a little bit um too grainy um, and a little bit of a little bit of paprika i'm going to add the juice of half a lemon so i'll just squeeze that through my fingertips there to catch any seeds any pips yeah, there was one, okay. And not a job to do if you've got any cuts on your fingers, by the way, it's quite stingy. And then a drop of water, just to help everything to combine. And then I'm just gonna pop the lid on and blitz to a fine paste. Perhaps to have the electricity on? Nope. Okay. And then when you open it up, it should be nice and smooth if you like it let's add a drop more water like that so we can spread it i love this in sandwiches i love it with salad with wraps bits of bread. and the nice thing about making a good batch of this is that it's well it's quite expensive to buy and well, we're quite a large family we're seven in the house at the moment so it comes in those tiny little tubs never enough for us so what i'm going to do now get a nice big open flat bowl and tip this out, you can see it's lovely and smooth. And this will last for a few days in the fridge. Cover it over, pop the lid on it so that it stays nice and moist. Okay, move it about a little bit like that. Drizzle of olive oil over the top. And because I like it spicy, I'm going to add just a little bit more paprika on top. And then these few little chickpeas that I kept back earlier, I'm just going to sprinkle on top. There we are. So if we add a nice fancy spoon, there you have homemade hummus, quite a lot of it for, for the amount we've just spent and that'll last you a few, good few days um, and be totally delicious.